Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you guys what's in my kids' stockings. So this is gonna be my three daughters' stockings. We have our youngest who is two, our middle who is five and a half, and our oldest who is seven. The same kiddos that I made the Christmas present video for, which thank you for all the love and support on that video. You guys have been seeming to love it so much and I just appreciate all the great feedback. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below, but that's already live. Doing it a little bit backwards this year. Normally I do stockings first, but these took a little bit longer to put together. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing is their stockings. These are from Target. I'll link you to the listing, but most of them are out of stock at this point. You have to kind of get these early because I think they're an online only type of thing for Christmas. But we have an L for Lexi, the two-year-old, R for Remy, the five and a half-year-old, and S for Sophie, who is the seven-year-old. And I'm currently on the back in stock list for the letter M, because I think I'm gonna get Mark and I matching stockings. I just love those ones so much, and they're really nice. And I think they're only around like $15. I'm gonna link you to as much stuff as I can down below. Some of the things, like the candy that I'm gonna show first, I might not be able to link all of it, although I might be able to on Target, I think Target is getting a little away from the warehouse type of shipping and more making their stores ship out. So you are able to order some boxed things, canned goods, candy, things like that. I mean, obviously they're not gonna ship you a pound of ground beef, but you kind of get my point here. So I'll link what I can find on there. But the only candy thing that they all have in common is a Pez dispenser. They mentioned something about wanting these because they got them from Halloween from a relative. So I got them a Santa and then a Christmas tree and a reindeer. And I'm gonna take them out of the packaging because that would just take up way too much space in the stocking. And then with Lexi, with her being two, I got her other candy a little bit different than her sister's, but I got her some Christmas tree peeps and then some mini M&Ms. And for her older sisters, the first thing I got because they hound me for mine out of my purse all the time, but I got them some gum. So this is icebreakers and it's candy cane flavored, but I thought that was super cute. Gum is still definitely a sit at the table and chew it while you're there and then you can spit it out to get up kind of thing because we've already had the whole gum and hair fiasco. The old age trick of peanut butter does work. You just need some patience. Anyways, I also found these. I saw them on the internet first. It was pretty cute, but they're just Sour Patch Kids that look like cool. So I think they'll get a kick out of that. We joke from time to time if they're gonna get cool and they always, no, no, no. And it's, it'll be cute. And then with Halloween, we discovered that my oldest daughter's favorite candy is now Twizzlers. So it's very interesting because no one else in this house shares that love, but I saw these and I decided to get them for them. Now these aren't the traditional Twizzlers or the peel ones, which is the best kind, but I think she'll enjoy them nonetheless. And I got one for Remy as well. So that is all the candy. Oh, I lied. Well, it doesn't have candy in it, but there's also these. These are little embroidered reindeers that hold candy canes. So I'll get some candy canes and I'll put them in here and they'll look like antlers coming off there. And the kids really enjoyed that last year. I'll put the Etsy shop link to those down below. And then I think I'm just gonna start from youngest to oldest because my older girls do have a lot of similar things. But with Lexi being a toddler, I kind of forgot the fact that you have to get a bit more creative with them because there's a lot of things they can't have. Whereas like with the older girls, I feel like it's a little bit more fun because because now they are able to get a variety of different things. But I did get some more poppets. So these were a big hit in our boo baskets for Halloween and also the back to school baskets. They love poppets now. So I found this set that has a Santa Claus and a gingerbread, a Christmas tree, and then a couple of the smaller pastel ones. They look like they're gonna fit in the stocking just fine, but they're super cute and I got these off of Amazon. And then as far as like specifically Lexi goes, I got her a few different things. So kind of boring and not interesting, but totally up Lexi's alley is socks. So she is the only toddler I've ever had that has actually kept socks on. Like she likes them, she likes to wear them during the day. So I got her these cute little fuzzy socks with a rainbow. She is our rainbow baby after four miscarriages. And then the other ones are just striped, but I thought these were so cute and little fuzzy socks. Who doesn't like those? I also got her this from the Target section with all the different stocking stuffers, but it's just a little Play-Doh. She has never experienced Play-Doh. I'm highly expecting this will probably go into her mouth, but I figured just a little bit of Play-Doh to test the waters and we can play with it. It's not like a whole big set or anything and kind of see how it goes. And then the last few things for her stocking are kind of bigger, which is why she doesn't have quite as many 
smaller things as the older girls do. Stockings are the only thing that I don't really keep track of the amount of. I mean, with the older girls, it just kind of comes naturally because they do have pretty much similar, the same kind of things, but uh, they don't really notice. They're so busy ripping through their own stocking that they don't really pay attention to anybody else. I got her this little book set. Lexi is very into books. She wants me and her dad to read her a book every night, and she also loves looking at them during the day. She just really loves being read to, and I saw this little traveler set, and I realized we don't have very many books about different places. So it's landmarks, vehicles, food, and animals. So I thought that was really cool and interesting, different. And they're also so small that I'm just going to take them out of this box, which would probably get ruined anyways, and just go ahead and stick them in her stocking. But I think she's really going to like this. So the next thing for Lexi, I actually opened up for you guys so you could see them, but I got her this different flashcard pack. So there's four different sets in here with different themes. So there is letters and then numbers fruits, and animals. And I really liked this because it had real pictures. You guys know how I am with that. I just find it more helpful with my kiddos who are learning. So here's a picture of a blueberry. We've got a picture of a kiwi and mango, coconut, banana, apple. So some of these words she already knows, but a lot of them she doesn't. And she really likes a certain book that we have that goes over letters and stuff. So I really think she's going to like flipping through these. And this is one of the best sets that I've seen as far as like animals and stuff go. She's going to love this one, <laughs> the, the koala on there. And then the letters and numbers are the same idea, although they aren't real pictures. They're just obviously the different letters and numbers. So one side has the number and then the back side has like a counting picture that they can use. So I thought that was really cool. And then the whole set does come with little plastic rings too. So they're not already set up for you. You'll just have to put the rings in there. But either way, I think she's really going to enjoy this and it'll be something that we can use to keep expanding her vocabulary. And then one of the last things in her stocking is going to be this little Paw Patrol phone. She is Paw Patrol obsessed. She loves them. She calls them her dodos. And I thought that this was a really cute toy. So it's something that she can take in the car with her. There's a power button and then you can also hit their faces. I think it's meant for a little bit of an older age range. I don't see one on here, which is strange for VTech. Oh, it says right down here two to five. So she is in the age range, but it does things from like subtracting, adding, matching, and a bunch of other things. But there's also just, you know, you can hit the characters' faces and talk to them and it can just be a regular phone. So again, another thing I'm going to take out of the packaging, but she's going to be super excited to see this. And a lot of you in the present video are going to be relieved to see that Liberty is in fact on the phone. So, you know, we're winning somewhere at least. And then the last thing is something I forgot to mention that I got for all of them. So this is going to be a shared one, but it's a nice little segue into what I got the older girls. And these are more for the older girls. I'm just trying to be even here, but I did get lush bath bombs again. So I got lush bath bombs for their boo baskets and the older girls loved them. Such a hit. And uh, Lexi was kind of afraid of hers. So um, I don't know how much Lexi will actually use hers, but that's completely fine. I also did confuse some of you because we only have a standing shower. Why I would buy bath bombs? So our standing shower has like a five inch lip on it. So you are able to accumulate some water and we got this stopper off of Amazon. So we can fill the water up and because of the bottom of our shower, the stopper doesn't seal completely. So it's really perfect. It works out really well. So we're able to put the stopper on and it'll fill up with water, but it never overflows. I mean, obviously we're right there observing our children and watching after them, but it's just like perfect. It works out really perfectly. We also got a different shower head that has one at the top that's fixed, but it also has a shower head with a hose. So we put that lower for our kids to be able to use. And you're also able to only use the detachable shower head. So we just put it on that feature and we put it down there and we allow the bottom to fill up with the stopper. And that way they can enjoy things like bath bombs. It's certainly not like a big old bubble bath or anything like that, but you know, it still allows them to have fun and experience it. 
long-winded and probably not necessary for most of you, but I did get them bath bombs. So I got this one, which is a snowman, but honestly, I thought it was Santa. And I'm just going to tell them that it's Santa because that's what I thought it was. And then there's this one that looks like a little present and all of these smell phenomenal. And then this one's probably my favorite, but it's supposed to look like some mistletoe. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't a present. It's actually a little bell. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm all wrong. I thought that was Santa Claus. It's a snowman. I thought this was a present. It's a bell. But anyways, uh, I'm probably going to give these two to the older girls and then this little guy to Lexi. So the last stuff is all for my older girls. So they did get the bath bombs. They also got the poppets. I'm going to split that between all three girls. And the rest of the stuff is just for Remy and Sophie, my five and a half and seven year old. So the first thing is some Oli gel pens. I put these in some kind of basket. I can't remember what. And they never stopped talking about the fact that they love their gel pens. So the purple one is multicolored gel pens and they're scented and then the pink box is just pastel scented gel pens so a little bit different the packaging on these also worked out really well so i got them two kaleidoscopes i felt like they're at the age where they'll actually enjoy this i probably could have got one for lexi but it's not something that i know that she's going to keep going back to and keep looking at but i got a space one for sophie who is space obsessed loving her telescope she got for her birthday and then also a unicorn one for Remy because she is still unicorn obsessed and I did look through these and these are pretty good I'm not an expert in like kaleidoscope quality or anything like that but I thought these were pretty nice and I thought they were sturdy not gonna get crushed or anything like that and thought the kids would really enjoy it so one small shop thing are these bracelets I'll take one out, but they're from Snuggles and Peanut, and they're just a little bracelet set. Okay, so it's packaged really nicely, and you can see the letters for Remy's name there. So I got these little customizable bracelets from this shop. I have ordered things from her before, and they are just the best. She has such an amazing little shop. I can't wait to be a repeat customer for her, but these came really quickly. I got one for Sophie and Remy, so they just make their own bracelet. Here's Sophie's letters to make her own, and that way they're able to make and wear their own little customized bracelet. I thought this was super cute, and the packaging is really nice too. I also wanted to mention the fact she puts this on her receipt, and I just wanted to read it because, again, another reason why I'm going to frequent this shop. It says that they donate 50% of their profit since the summer of 2020, donate it to causes close to their heart so i think that's really awesome if you take one look at their shop you know the kind of causes that they support so very much enjoy this i will be a repeat customer and then next thing i didn't realize that i did this but you know they're gonna love it so it doesn't really matter so i saw these at drug mart this might be something i'm not able to link you guys because i haven't seen them anywhere else and I was just back in there last night and I didn't see any more of these. So I think they're already wiped clean. But they're uh, lip smackers and they are little holiday scents. I think we've got like candy apple and caramel and candy cane. I just got two of the same. So no arguing. And I just liked these colors. They had another one, but they didn't scream Christmas to me. And I totally forgot about getting those. And then I went on Target and I bought these. So I actually really like these for lip balms for the girls. I just put them in their bags in different places and they really do like them. So uh, it's the EOS and they are both from the holiday collection. This one is vanilla sugar cookie and caramel brulee sleigh. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna give this one to Sophie. And then this one is Sparkling Sugar Plum and Pomegranate Punch. So a bunch of lip balm, but you know what? They love it. They love putting it everywhere in their purses, their bags, their school stuff. So it'll be fine. And then lastly, I got these also from an Etsy shop. Super impressed with the speed and quality, by the way. I got them little tags to play dress up in. So this is the Etsy shop. 
giggles of love i'll be sure to link them down below but if you guys remember from the christmas present video we got sophie some scrubs and a white coat as her sister present so that she could be a scientist or a doctor and i thought it'd be really cool to get her a little badge that said dr sophie and then you just print out your own photo so i'm gonna have to do that and you put their photo in right there so Dr. Sophie and she's able to clip this right to her scrubs. I thought that was adorable. And then I also got veterinarian Remy for her. So Remy doesn't really want to be a vet. She more specifically wants to go to Asia and work with pandas. I figured vet was as close as we could get to that. Uh, there was also zoologist, which I guess would kind of fit, but I know she knows what a vet is. So that's why I kind of went with it. And that's everything that mom and dad is going to be putting in their stockings. They do want Santa to drop off some LOL dolls. So I think this is the picture that I'm going to send him the ones that I was thinking of. They're just tubular instead of the big balls so they might fit a little bit better in the stocking so i just always leave some room for santa so he can add a little extra few things in there for the girls but they know that mommy and daddy and santa we all work together here we're a team in this house so i just wanted to mention the few things that they asked they asked for that and like a couple things of candy from him but that is everything that we're going to be putting in their stockings let me know down in the comments below what's the one thing you always include in your kids stockings i know some people do toothbrushes fruit nuts whatever it might be just let me know because I've been thinking about maybe including always one specific thing kind of an interesting tradition my husband grew up with that but I didn't so I like hearing about that stuff if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching